Welcome to our mini edition of To The Hoop. Playoffs have officially begun in Idaho with the 5A Inland Empire League girls starting their road to state tonight. We'll start at Coeur d'Alene where the number two seeded Vikings hosted number three seeded Post Falls Lake second quarter action. Madison Simmons doing some work. The freshman with some great footwork in the lane gets the shot to fall. Vikings up by three. On the other end, the Trojans Alexis Heath Takes the pass inside. Heath is small, but she is crafty as she finds her way underneath for two. But the Vikings steal all the momentum just before the half. Nikisha Matheson goes baseline, and she's able to float one in with about a second to play. Coeur d'Alene took a 33-26 lead to the locker room, and they kept it going in the second half. They win it 66 to 50. Just down the street, the Lake City girls won the Inland Empire League regular season, taking on last place Lewiston. The T-Wolves came out cooking to start. Aubrey Avery gets things going from distance. A tidy 20 point game from her to lead all scores. The threes kept falling. This time it's Brenna Hawkins knocking one down, knocking one down for the namesake. I like your name, girlfriend. Lake City would rip off 13 straight points to start the game. Bengals finally getting on the board. Post to a post pass from Gabby Johnson to Kate Richardson for the layup, but Lewiston Never gets back in it. They fall to Lake City 57-33. On to the GNL. Cheney making the trip up to East Valley. The Knights started off, started the third quarter on an 8-0 run to get them up 12. The Sand won by Reese Rasmussen, a part of that, but Cheney fought right back in this one. This bucket from Peyton McPherson gets them up two in the fourth quarter. The Blackhawks outscore the Knights by 15 in the fourth to put this away. Punctuated with this and one from Quincy Goodlow. Cheney comes from behind and downs East Valley 70 to 60. On to the girls game between Cheney and East Valley. Blackhawks kept it close, but the Knights pulled away with a 13 to 3 run to end the first half. Some quick passing here after pushing the pace. Ellie Stowell gets the finish. The bank open after hours apparently because Bree Olichek Hits the three off the glass as the shot clock was winding down. Once again, more quick passing after pushing the pace. Mattia Green gets the finish. East Valley wins this one 61-41. Heading down to the Palouse where West Valley traveled to Pullman. This Eagles team likes to let it fly. Blaine Vasicek sinks the quarter three. More from beyond the arc. Jace Pakuda steps back, hits it with even Ethan Kramer in his face. But the Hounds stayed in attack mode. Evan Strong fighting through contact and finds Steven Burkett inside. Both teams going blow for blow, but the Greyhounds grit too much for the Eagles. Pullman wins 50 to 47. The West Valley girls winners tonight. 68-39. Medical Lake and Deer Park meeting up for the second Friday in a row. Stags won by 13 last Friday. Winner to take the second seed in the Northeast Day going into districts. Cardinals fell down by five. Eugene Haas with the three. Medical Lake down two. It was as close as they got though. Stags were firing from everywhere. Joby Gelder from downtown Deer Park up five. 23 points for him tonight. The real show. Junior guard Dawson Youngblood putting on a clinic. Step back three there. Deer Park on a 9-0 run, then working the hoop, bucketing the foul. Stags up 17. And then caps off the first half with another three. He had 22 of the Stags' first 38 points, 30 points overall. The, and Deer Park clinches the second spot in the Northeast A with their second straight win over Medical Lake, 68-39. Second place in the Northeast 1A on the line between Medical Lake and Deer Park girls this evening as well. Medical Lake won, they secure second place. They lost, that would force a tiebreaker game tomorrow. Medical Lake controlling much of the first half. Inside goes Ellie Accord, her lay-in, putting the Cardinals up by 24. They led by two at the break. Stags come roaring back. Freshman Darian Herring with the steal and the finish. She led all scores with 14. Deer Park goes up by one in the third, up four in the fourth. Deer Park on a 7-0 run. Taylor Lyons with the lay-in. She had 13 stags up by 11. Cardinal stage to come back. Toss it out to J.C. Oliver. She had a team high 10 for Medical Lake. Brings the cards within five. Deer Park with a big bucket inside late. Paige Rose. Stags hold on to win it. 50, excuse me, 45-43. They will now take on Medical Lake again tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Riverside to determine the second seed in the Northeast A. We 